What's up, everybody? Trip it ain't easy back. We are back from Vegas. Uh, if you haven't seen our Vegas playlist, uh, go ahead and check that out. We'll go ahead and uh, link it down below. But uh, nice, very nice, very nice Saturday here. Nice and sunny. And we decided to take a little bit of drive out to sort of the country areas of Virginia Beach, Pungo Sandbridge. And we stopped here at Margie and Ray's uh, Crab House for something to eat. Little local place, everyone recommends it. So we're gonna go ahead and try this place out. And then maybe afterwards, uh, head down the street to the beach. So let's go check it out. All right, well, here we are at uh, Margie and Ray's, right here. Little uh, locals hidey hole down here in Sandbridge, Virginia. Sandbridge, baby. Oh, it is Sandbridge. Sandbridge, baby. Sandbridge is actually right down that road there. A uh, bunch of rental houses. Some good little kayak places, Back Bay. It's a wildlife refuge, so if you're into that kind of thing, they have uh, they have that here. If you've never been here before, we always hear things about it. It's uh, seafood based, so if you like seafood, you might like this place. We'll figure out what we want. Jesus. And there's some impatient people around here. I must no, say, the pulled out in front oh, they, oh, they pulled out in front yeah. of them, apparently. It's a uh, very, I would say, dangerous road. It's one lane each way, and it's pretty fast. It's like 45 miles an hour down this road. So, and yeah, it's very narrow, and there's like ditches on each side. So be wary of that if you decide to come down here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get some shesh puppies or something. Right, you, want shesh puppies? you want some shesh puppies? You want some shut up puppies? You want some shut the fuck up puppies? So apparently they have like a buffet style here. Um, they do? Yeah, platters right here. I'm showing it to you. Oh. It's called the tidal wave. Um, so on the steam side, you got crab legs shrimp, oysters, clams, broccoli, and then fried shrimp, scallops, crab cakes, uh, clams, oysters, fish fillets, french fries, coleslaw, and hush puppies. So that's their little buffet style here. It's quite expensive. Uh, feeds, feeds for $190. Uh, it says for four to 100 people. That's interesting. So each additional person you put in there is $48. Uh, so come here with us. Feeds four is $48. Feeds four. No, it feeds feeds four, oh. and then each additional person is forty is forty eight dollars. So one hundred ninety for four, and then so I guess I guess you get to keep ordering all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean it probably wouldn't be too bad if you know we might come back and try that with us. maybe some friends possibly. Thank you, ma'am. Nice. Ooh, look at that there. So this is the. Uh, this is an Irish coffee, iced. I tried to get a uh, a espresso martini, but they didn't do those. But they do do Irish coffees, and they went and made it cold for me because I'm really don't, not a really big fan of hot coffee. But it's very nice looking, don't you think? You want to try a sip? Yep. All right, try that one quick. Got some push puppies. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. This is the Back Bay Burger. Um, I got cheese. Looks like there's some grilled onions. No bacon, though. All good. And the wife got the, what'd you get? The Flander po, po Boy. There's no sauce on it. Po Boy's so had like a sauce. Uh -huh. Beer batter fries. Those are good. You didn't want any. I'll eat them. I want them. Better call the police then. I'm good. Do you need some time to look at the menus? Or? All right. Well, I think we're done here. We're gonna head down the road that way and go uh, check out the beach for a little bit down at Sand Beach, Sandbridge, Sandbridge Beach. All right, see you there. All right, we're back in the car here after uh, eating at that place. Pretty decent, not bad. Um, we're gonna head down the street this way to Sandbridge. Uh, it's a little vacation spot, lots of vacation homes, huge stretch of beach. Hopefully it's not too crowded, but we'll go ahead and check that out and uh, let you know.
All right, so these are the roads of Sand Bridge. This is Sand Piper Street. There's a Sand Fiddler Street over there. They both go sort of parallel with each other. One is right by the beach, which is that one over here. This one here is this, the uh, the sound side over here, Back Bay, uh, up over there. All these houses that you see, pretty much 99% of them, I'm sure there might be some private ones, can be rented. Uh, you can rent them out by the week. They're pretty pricey, which is normally why, you know, you get like a bunch of people to come in together and uh, rent it for the week, you and some friends or whatnot. But some of them have little names on them, little themes. There's some much bigger ones over here on uh, Sand Fiddler. Although these aren't, these aren't too shabby. These are pretty nice. But just a little food for thought. If you uh, if you wanted to come down here, there's a Seabird Realty and Sandbridge Realty that you can contact. We'll go ahead and leave that down in the description below. You can contact them and possibly try to rent out one of these nice houses during the uh, summer. Or I think any any months really, you can rent them out. All right, so now we're down here in Sandbridge. We found us a little bit of parking here, amongst all the houses. There's a uh, parking spots kind of all along the road and little public beach accesses. We're going to go take this one here. There's another one a little bit down further, and then there's another one a little bit down further. And there's probably more back along here. So these are some of the rental houses. You can rent all these houses here. Like that one right there, you can rent from Sandbridge Realty. Uh, some of these are, are like themed. Of course, Summer Slope, they're all little named houses. Kind of cool. Some of them are very massive, very nice. Uh, most of them have little decks. Some of them have pools. Some of your nicer ones have uh, have really nice pools. But yeah, let's go check out the beach. All right, here's one of the public beach accesses here. Literally right down the street from our car, right there. So not very far. Of course, you know, the busier it is, the more or less likely you're gonna be able to find parking. There is parking lots down that way as well that you can pay to park in. This is one of the lovely vacation homes. This one has a pool right here on the uh, beach. So nice little view of the of the agua as you're chilling yes. huh yes. and here we go here is Sandbridge Beach it goes on for miles and miles and miles of course it's it's, it's quite a big beach And it's quite busy too. Uh, you might not be able to see it through the lens, but there's quite a bit of people here. We have pretty much an empty zone right here though. Kind of people are all over there and over there. This is actually the first time the wife has actually gone to the beach this summer. She has gone to some nice pools though. Just she has not gone to the beach. All right, I'm gonna do a little, uh, might not be a local secret, but to me it is. I'm gonna see if I can catch some sand fiddlers in the, uh, in the water here. Ooh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Need that time? Let's try again. It's actually not too cold. There's one. Got one. Or is that a shell? That's a dead one. So that's a sand filler, but that's a dead one. We don't want dead ones. There's a little baby one. We got right here. Where'd you go, little buddy? There it is, right here. There's a little tiny baby one. There's an itty bitty sand fiddler. Are you showing up on camera? So they do get bigger. That's just a little baby one. We'll go ahead and put it back. See if we can find a bigger one.
they might freak you out a little bit too when you try to catch them because you might feel them digging into your hand. They don't hurt, but it's just, you know, the first time you ever catch one, it might be a little surprising to you. There we go. Is that one dead too? No, it's just Get him! <laughs> well, we had one. Poor little guy, he's like, woo! Coming back from Sand Bridge, uh, we decided to stop by here. Back Bay Farmhouse Brewery. They are a, as you can see from back there, they got some, it looks like some hops growing. Uh, they are a little farmhouse brewery, local spot. Opened up a few years ago. And so we're gonna head here now. They took an old farmhouse. You can probably barely see it back in the back. We'll show it to you in a second. Took an old farmhouse, renovated it, and uh, turned it into a brewery. Been here a couple times. But I think you said, what they have here today? Uh, third birthday. It's their third birthday. So it's been three years? I thought it was longer than that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go check it out, see if they got any new beers on tap. And they might have axe throwing. Might have axe throwing. We're going to go uh, see what's the crack. So I am leaving this in the video. They have pointless valet because here's their valet parking, parking right here. This will be left in the video. This is pointless valet because the brewery's right here. And here's the valet. Got their nice old farmhouse truck. So we got some food trucks open as well. There's probably some, yeah, there's more all around here. A whole lot of them, some cupcakes and all kinds of stuff. How's it going, man? Yep. All right, there's the house that they uh, bought, renovated. Pretty much turned into... Um, their uh, tasting room slash bar area. A lot of nice outdoor stuff here. Little tents. It's like little cabanas. I guess you could have rented those. You got some swing chairs. There's a big old fire pit. Or at least there was. I don't know. Yep, it's still over there. Big old fire pit over there. A lot of food trucks out here today. Got Prime 757. They actually have, that's kind of funny, they actually have beers. Huh? They have beers out here on tap at a brewery. It's theirs though. Is it? Oh, it is theirs. Okay, never mind. Let's say it's kind of funny. What else we got? Dog House. And that one's not open. Barbecue. Some more of the house there. It's a nice little, nice little house. We got a couple different tasting rooms. There's one right here, and there's one up there. They have a margarita cider. All right, see. so here's the inside here. We have a nice little sitting room in here. A little sitting room. They have uh, some stuff here, some little salads and such. Some bottles of wine. A bit of merchandise. This is the upstairs to so another uh, a little tasting room up there. Let's see, Let's see what they got. They got a sour, that's pretty good. They got a couple sours, what else we got? Got a nut quacker, stout. I'll take one of those. They do have, it's right there. Not well. Uh, no, there's, there's no, so this is another little tasting room, but it's closed right now, so. Let's go back downstairs. So I got the Wichapungo here, it's a pumpkin ale. 
Again, not very good this year. Uh, it was much better the first year I had it. Which one you got? <laughs> Lots of little swing chairs. Picnic tables. How's your mimosa? We're gonna see if we can find the uh, axe throwing here. If they still have it. Maybe it's maybe it's not here right now. Let's see. I'm gonna pass by the food trucks. I smell funnel cakes. I smell the funnel cake. I smell funnel cakes. Mmm, mama, they got funnel cakes here. My mother's favorite thing is a funnel cake. They're delicious. I don't see it anywhere. Are they still doing the axe throwing somewhere around here or no? They did it this morning. They just left at 3 o'clock. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Axe throwing's done. All right, well, we got a little bit of beer here. Axel one's not in a wall. That left, so we're going to go ahead and head out of here and uh, probably call it a day. So, you too, man. Appreciate it. So, usually, as always, you know, thanks for hanging out, joining us today. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe down below. Uh, you got any breweries around in your area? Tell us your favorite one. Maybe we might make it there one day your favorite beer too maybe we'll try that but till next time tripping ain't easy but a show is fun okay addition to the vlog i don't know if you can see this or not but that is a mutz cuts van from uh dumb and dumber like are you serious right now what the hell that is the greatest thing I've seen all day. And I saw my wife's boobies earlier. <laughs>